How's everyone doing? Welcome back to the show. Today, look what I have. Almost forget what it is. I know it's got some problems. As you can see what's going on here. Or what's not going on. better shot all right so we're gonna have a look at this together for the first time actually I just got this and oh look at that it looks bad but it might not be as bad as it looks they had it packed up pretty well, although they didn't have any anything under this tail piece. So this was able to float and knock around. So I don't know how much additional damage that done. It doesn't, doesn't matter too much. It's pretty worn. Let's see what, what they gave me. Here. Piece of the bridge. This is the headstock. I don't know what happened. It is an SS Stewart. <laughs> you like SS Stewart? Yeah. Okay. It's in shambles. It's about ready to fall apart. So I, I'm just going to set this over here for the time being. There's another piece of wood. Yeah, it's the bag of parts, bag of bones. <laughs> uh, how do I get myself into these? There's another little piece. And then this is the bridge. That appears to be pretty well intact. You know, that goes on there. Can mess with that later. Take a look at the neck itself. It's really nicely carved. A very small little uh, heel here with a nice little tortoise cap on it. It's got nice binding. The binding's in really nice shape on the top. Other than this break, I mean, maybe just somebody got in a fight or got pissed off and decided to smash their guitar because other than that it looks like just a pretty well worn old guitar that was in good shape well kept kept up like, there's not a whole lot i don't know about the neck angle i'll have to see how that shakes out but i'd hate to touch that but because there's plenty of repairs to do on this as it is okay. Um, I'm not sure what year this is. Let me see, there is a label inside here. And it says model number. Let me get a better shot of it. From what I can tell, it's a 7005. 7005. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. See if I can come up with anything on that. Um, let's see if we can identify some of the wood. I would say it's definitely a spruce top. Um, sides look like mahogany, I believe. The back is busted as it is. Mm, I can see it's, it's mahogany. The next mahogany, it's all mahogany, spruce top. So pretty sweet. Anywho, oh, the fingerboard. It's probably some kind of rosewood. I could, I could see the grain from the side here. It looks like rosewood. I wonder what year this guitar is. The headstock. I think I did read that um, 
this B and J, they imported, not imported, but they were uh, selling these guitars um, or distributing them back in the early 40s. So late 30s, early 40s, I believe, uh, is what this, the era this comes from. I don't know the exact number. I might be able to look it up with that serial number. So yeah, I don't know where to start really. Um, it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. I'm gonna try to dissect it the best I can. If, let's see if we have all the pieces first. Uh, the back looks pretty well, all the pieces are there. Uh, might be missing a few little uh, nubbins here and there or whatever, but let's see what we have for the headstock. I'll bring it back. Okay, so here are all the pieces I have for this headstock. And I'm going to try to see if I can figure out how they go back together. I believe the first thing I'm going to want to do here is take off these tuners. These screws here aren't even attached. I don't want to break anything further. So I'm going to just be very ginger. Okay, there's set of tuners. There's one piece of wood here. Let's get the next set out here. For some reason that screw is a little shorter than the other ones. Okay, they're just they're just in there kind of tight coming out. Uh, that is in there a little tight. Okay. So here's what we have. There is a piece of wood still attached to the, the headstock plate here. Um, it almost looks like there's glue on here, like maybe they tried to fix it. Uh, not sure. Let me try to work on getting this plate off of here. It doesn't look like it's gonna take much to get it off. Let me just take a thin blade. Let me just see how well it's it's attached. So let me try putting a little heat on this. off zero cracks now I have just the wood exposed let me see if there's any pieces missing if this is going to go back together so that piece goes here This one goes, okay, this one I believe goes right here. That goes there. This goes here. And then this piece, I'm losing little pieces as I'm touching this here. Somehow this has got to get all the way to here. Seems like these two pieces here go together. 
I can see how it has to go. It just to get it there. This is not an easy break here. But at this point, I don't have a lot of faith in what I'm working with. And then I'll have to see how this part here even matches up with the body. Let's take a look at that right now and see what we're working with there. Now looking at it from this perspective seems to make a little bit more sense. This piece pretty cleanly right there. This piece kind of underneath it and right next to it, right there. This piece here this is the wing. This is going to go here. And I have one more piece over here. Let's try to line this up the best I can. This piece will go here. It's hard to hold it, but it looks like there's everything here that I need. See how these three go together? This one here, this is going to be the tricky one. All that end grain, it all has to fit together, come together like a puzzle. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and work on getting the other piece of tortoloid here off the headstock. This will actually go back together with just a slight crack, hardly noticeable. No piece is missing, it doesn't appear. This is pretty intact. Oh, there's another piece of wood back here. Can't forget about that one. Let me just come up with an order of operations here and figure out exactly what I need to do. These two pieces here are tricky. You got all this end grain and it's got to fit together inside all that end grain and if it doesn't fit perfectly it won't it won't go to the correct position in order to line this stuff up it might be nearly impossible this has got to go all the way it's hard to tell if this piece here is in the right position or has it been altered tweaked you might have to take a lot of this stuff out a lot of these long splinters Never get it to line up. That seems to be pretty close right there. What about this piece? Is that how it goes? This little section here might be a lost cause. Even if I get this to go back together, there's going to be so many gaps in there. I'm going to want to fill it. Might as well make a whole new piece for this, this portion of it get this back together and get this to glue together um, and then this attaches to the body the neck rather before I do that I'm just thinking out loud I could um, flatten out one side here and duplicate you know kind of do what they did where they add these wings although these would come probably from before the holes I would imagine a little bit of the hole in there left so I might as well take it all the way down cut it straight here put this all back together make a new piece take a piece of mahogany and then I'll have to match the, the color in the back which you know obviously this is going to have to be all uh, reworked anyway the label it's it's not a maker's mark or anything it's a uh, a distributor's uh you know like they sold it b and j musical products i'd be able to get that off i don't know how if that's a thin silk screen or if that's something that can peel off not too concerned about that might even be able to mask it and work around it. I think that's going to be my plan. Let me get the guitar and see how everything lines up. Okay, checking it out with the guitar. If I take these three pieces, one of them being the neck, attaching these two pieces to it, you can see how this goes back together. Let me spin it around here, show you the front. I think that'll work. The right clamps and calls, I should be able to clamp this 
and get started gluing it. I'm debating on the type of glue. I'm thinking of using epoxy. I've never really worked with it before on a guitar. Um, I don't think it's much different than just when it comes to finishing. I don't think it's much different. And it is a much stronger bond. I don't want to put any splines or anything in this. So I think I will just mix up some epoxy for this. So I'll bring you back when I get set up on that. Free of any debris, little pieces that are going to get it hung up. Only have five minutes for this. Okay, I've got a couple of calls here. Some pieces of um, just some maple wrapped with um, wax paper. Let me put it on this side first. Should put some, it's going to take some wax, put it all on the finish. Hopefully, the epoxy won't stick to it. back on here. I actually want to leave it off. I don't want it to start setting up in the wrong spot. Boy, this epoxy is kind of nasty. Uh, this is kind of stressful. Okay, so I'll glue all in there. Wipe up some of this squeeze out of you. I'm just gonna have to go for it. I'm not liking this. Let me try a different clamp here. That's that's better. Feels good now. It feels like it's nice and lined up. Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Squeeze it a little too tight, I think. Oh, this epoxy. These clamps are the right ones. Boy, that was stressful. This seems to be pretty good right here. Can barely feel any step. That's a good sign. All right, I'm gonna just kind of run with this. I'll let this dry, set up overnight. Okay, it's the next morning. Gotta remove these clamps and see how this made out. mess we have here or not. It's actually not too bad. 
pretty even. You can just feel the glue build up. This will clean up nice.